Hey guys, it's Brian. Welcome back to another video on my channel where I am on an adrenaline rush. So, I just finished watching the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2018. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! I just watched a rerun of it and I posted the entire thing and like my initial thoughts on my Snapchat story, follow me on Snapchat, at Dear Brian. I thought I would do a more in-depth review of the show. So basically what I'm gonna do is um, take each section, break it down, like the basics of it, and then my thoughts on it. So yeah, without further ado, let's just, let's just, let's just jump into it. So the first segment is called Glam Royale, and the performer was Leela James singing This Is Me from the Greatest Showman. Yeah, say Okay, damn! Glam Royale was very, it was basically just tartan and plaid everywhere. It kind of reminded me of, I think it's 2013. Yeah, 2013, where Lily wore this tartan outfit during the British Invasion section. So Taylor opened up uh, the section and also the whole show. Oh my God, oh my God, Taylor's starting. Oh, she's opening, wow! I guess like the most notable looks, at least for me, was Alexina Graham's. Dude, Alexina looks so good, yeah! I also liked Josephine's look. That's my baby! And Kendall was in the show and um, again, no shade, but why are you here? And in this segment, after three years of being gone, Bahati is finally back. It's Bahati! What she wore was probably out of the entire section, one of my favorites. Next time y'all see me, I'm gonna be wearing that just to let y'all know. So the next segment was Golden Angel um, and the performers were this one where the Chainsmokers featuring Kelsey Ballerini. Okay, this this runway is beautiful, wow. Golden Angel, like the name says, it's, it, was, it was gold, obviously. Although this gold was more of a kind of champagne-y kind of gold as opposed to the gilded like gold gold from the 2014 show which was one of my favorite segments of that year the thing about this segment that i wasn't that thrilled by was um that red ribbon around certain people it just didn't look that flattering to me and also they had some t-shirt looks which was interesting like Candace opened the section and she wore a t-shirt look. Look at her, Jesus Christ. I think I only liked that look because it was Candace. With this segment, the looks that I really liked were um, Barbara Palvin's. I thought her look was really good. Did she, oh, 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 she did that. Stella's look was really good. Those wings are everything. Obviously I like Candace's look though it is a t-shirt look, but again, I think I only like it because it's Candace. God damn! Wow! Grace's look was really cute. Yes! That's her! This, this section was, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't necessarily the worst either. Everyone looked great though, so I wasn't, I wasn't that mad about it. So they had a short special segment afterwards, which was just for Adriana Lima because this is unfortunately her last show. I think it's special that they decided to have that special segment for her. That's so sweet. So the next segment was called Flights of Fancy and this was when Halsey was performing. Runaways this year are so damn pretty. Overall, this segment was really delicate. Obviously there were a lot of wings. Everything was sort of a blush tone, so like pastel blues, pastel pinks, a lot of like ostrich feathers. So this segment opened up with Martha and she wore this, I don't know how to explain it. It was like a, I don't know, she wore wings. This was the section that Winnie Harlow, who is one of my favorite models out there right now. This is her first look of the show. My girl Winnie, hey, hey. She look good. Some of my favorite looks from this segment were um, Frida Austin. Okay, but this look is oh, the uh, is everything. Okay. Another one was Alana's. She wore this like one-sided pink feathery wing. Oh, Alana! Oh, I see you. Okay. Obviously, 
the best one out of this entire section was Elsa, who wore this year's fantasy bra. She's wearing the fantasy bra! Elsa looks so good! Yeah! So the next section was pink. Okay, PSA to pink. I swear to God, one day I will walk. Listen, I will walk in that section. I will make it a life mission. So overall, this section was really simple in the sense that it was mostly just like a bra, panties, and a jacket. There weren't any real wings in this section. Again, like I said, it was just super simple, like a sports bra and like sweatpants. I also have to say that this year, all the pink girls are really interactive with each other. They didn't, they haven't had that in like a long time. Usually the pink girls kind of walk and then walk back. But this year they kind of played around, they gave each other high fives, they interacted with BB. Also in this section is uh, Kelsey Merritt, who is the first Southeast Asian girl to walk in the show, was representing for us Southeast Asians. She's Filipino, I'm Indonesian. Close enough. Yes, Kelsey, represent for us Southeast Asians, Hey. One of my favorite, I guess, pieces from this section was uh, Willow's orange puffer jacket. Okay, see that puffer jacket? Can somebody, somebody, listen, Christmas is coming up. So the next section was Floral Fantasy, which was a collaboration with Victoria's Secret and Mary Can Drop So. I don't know how to say her last name. So this was Victoria's Secret's second fashion brand collaboration, because last year they collaborated with Balmain for the Rock Angel segment, which was fire. But this was very loud florals and in your face. They had these like super big jellyfish umbrella wings. Whoa! Whoa! They had some really cool like jumpsuit looks. I think two of the girls were wearing them. I think, I don't remember one of the girls. That jumpsuit, I'm a fan of that. But I know that Josephine was wearing the other one. See these jumpsuit pants, I don't know what they are but I'm obsessed with them, and Josephine looks great, amazing. And in this segment, Shawn Mendes was performing, and he performed last in Japan. Shawn is so fine, I don't, let's talk about that for a second, cause god damn. So Jasmine opened up the show, she wore some wings, and they were, they looked like they were upside down because it was smaller here and bigger down at the bottom. There were like two looks that looked literally just like full on gowns, which was interesting. Again, I guess maybe it was the designer's choice to have something like that, but I was like, um, okay. Another look that was cool from this section was obviously Winnie, because I love Winnie. Yes, Winnie! Also in this section was Ducky. She was top three in Australia's Next Top Model, but I've been following her for a long time, and now she's on Victoria's Secret. Ducky! Another look that I liked was Devin's. It was a cape sort of situation. I could pull that off. I think I could pull that off. So the next section was Downtown Angel and Rita Ora performed this one. Stella opened the segment and I really loved what she was wearing because of that like rain coat that she had on. I know I said that a lot of times, but this one, this one is for real. I need it. But for this whole section, it's pretty much just black and white with like little bits of red in there. Um, what I love from this section is probably the two t-shirt looks. That shirt is mad cute with that corset too. Okay. Bahati wore this like corset which made her look. Dang, Bahati looks banger. I think it was Martha that was wearing, it was this weird, it looked like a trash bag tapeworm that said Victoria on it. That was supposed to be like her wings, but it was ugly. That looks like a tapeworm. I'ma pretend it doesn't exist. Goodbye. The aesthetic of the runway and the clothes and the song kind of made it all make sense, but like pulling these looks out, there weren't that many good ones. And the last and final section is my favorite segment of the whole show and it's Celestial Angel. This entire section is basically my aesthetic. It's all black. There's some gold in there, and it's all about space. So the segment opened up with Laius and these like spiky star wings and these super cool like thigh high black and silver boots. Dang, Laius looks good. Those boots though! Um,
And a lot of the looks from this segment were my favorite in the whole show. Like, Romay's look was pretty cool. She's wearing the Swarovski diamond outfit. Wait, there it is! Another look that I loved was Elsa's. Oh my god, and the fact that it's like moon and stars and space. This is my aesthetic. I love everything about this. Obviously, Adriana's look from this segment was super iconic. It was like... Her wings were just a giant crescent moon and stars, and it was her final runway, and she closed off the show. The queen herself wearing the moon. We love you. I'll miss you. You deserve everything good. Uh, she lo- Yes! Compared to all the other segments, this, this one was like top tier, the best one, in my opinion. So overall, this year, if I'm gonna be completely honest, was like, kind of a little disappointing just because this year's like there were only some segments that i thought were really good some of the segments in my opinion felt sort of kind of lazy so this year's was like okay i mean i still loved it i still liked watching it but i feel like they just need new fresh ideas i want to thank you guys for watching this video until next time well technically if it's a, another victoria's secret video until next year i will see you guys another time I hope you have the day you deserve, and goodbye!